Hi, my name is Ellen Janssen and I'm doing the international marketing for supply chain media. And we've got a supply chain message from you from Berlin. I'm here with Martijn Lofers, a chief trend watcher from supply chain media. And uh, we've got some interesting interviews planned for you. What can we expect? Hi, Ellen. Um, I'm going to interview some people and I have uh, three questions. What are the main trends they're seeing? Uh, how do these trends impact companies and what should companies do about it? Crystal clear um, digitalization, mm -hmm. number one. And number two, digitalization. The conversions of digital levers such as big data, AI, IoT, and to, to build meaningful use cases that support procurement, supply chain, to create value uh, to the enterprise. And second, it's about how those functions, supply chain procurement, can earn a seat at the table. The main trends we see right now is robotic technologies and artificial intelligence. My perspective, for some it's the paperless office, for some it's replacing one software by another software, and again for others it's truly innovative ideas around cognitive elements in procurement. So this implies a completely different impact in terms of addressing strategic objectives, in terms of effectiveness in procurement, where they are able to deliver incremental savings, but also efficiency is still um, a big topic. These, uh, I, I believe if you um, converge those digital la uh, levers to build meaningful use cases such as managing risk in the supply networks, um, this can help enterprises to gain competitive advantage in terms of increasing market share, uh, protecting the revenue, protecting the, reven uh, the, the reputation of an enterprise. So many aspects that drive value beside of savings. It will impact the companies because we see a, a huge movement kind of um, boil down the number of employees in procurement to the, the absolute minimum because you know they companies have to spend money to kind of do their operation and they hate to spend money uh, spending money so meaning um, automation and process optimization is always a good thing and this is something that we are standing for well i think we've started an extremely exciting journey where we were asked to help a large procurement organization to digitalize their procurement company and we've been well aware of the high level of maturity, which basically means they have done e-procurement, e-sourcing, e-invoicing, e-contracts, B2B supplier connectivity, all of this. Mm -hmm. So the question was what remains? Mm -hmm. And we started investigating together with them what it could mean to them and identified a white spot in the landscape of procurement systems. Mm -hmm. And we're now co-developing um, a tool, a system, together with this client where we sh share the IP um, and go to market together with a completely new piece of software. So truly exciting. I, I recommend those enterprises uh, to do a first tiny step into digitization and learn, uh, get the value out of those initial steps and increase the footprint and, and get more traction and getting also the buy-in from the top management and these are the right steps and continue the journey uh, to improve and create value for the enterprise. What we always recommend is to have a strategy in place. You know, don't start galloping forward. Just think about what you want to do and where you want to be in two, four or five years and then start growing and expanding this type of technologies. It's always bad to use this in a big bang approach. So you should start slowly kind of create experience, learn from experience because sometimes you fail and failing means that you may have to, to learn uh, how you shall do it different. So start slow but start because otherwise you know all your competitors are kind of going different ways and they're gonna kind of bypass you. This was our supply chain message from Berlin. I hope you liked it. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.